Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom for now, but it is opening weekend of Deadpool and Wolverine and I did not want to miss out. I did not want to have anything spoiled to the point where I saw the first trailer and then I kept my eyes and ears shut for everything else because I knew it was gonna be full of shock and awe and spectacle. And I want that for you as well, which is why I'm going to keep this review as spoiler free as possible. I'm not even going to drop little clips of the trailer like I sometimes do because I want you to experience that oh, magic. So you're wondering why am I here giving a review if I don't want you to know anything? Haha. <laughs> well that is because as always I just like to give you some food for thought about whether you want to spend your time and your money to go to a theater full of people who everybody seems to be germy now but is Deadpool and Wolverine worth that? Yes, maybe. Okay, even if you are a slightly moderately casual Marvel fan, you are going to go see this movie. You have to because it is, it's the film of the year. It's the film for the last few years. This is a film that people have been wanting to see forever. So you're going to go see it just for curiosity sake alone. Question becomes, how much of it do you want spoiled? If you don't want any of it spoiled, you had to have seen it earlier today. Because there's no way in hell people are going to be able to keep their mouths shut about what we have just witnessed. There's no way. There is no way. People are going to talk because it delivered on the shock and the awe and the surprises that I don't even know if they promised outright, but we got some and then some. But it's almost, almost to the point where maybe it was too much. <laughs> You're going to go see this film for the shock and awe. You're not gonna go for the story because I don't know if the plot worked. I think it, there was a plot, but I don't know if it worked because there was so much else to focus on that it detracted from the plot. This film for me is kind of like Deadpool 2, 2 in the fact that the first Deadpool was brilliant, pretty darn near a perfect film. It had that right blend of newness and dialogue and action sequence and things we hadn't seen and things we've seen before but twisted and it was just the right blend. That's why we love it so much and we wanted more. And so I think the studio executives went, oh, these are the big buzzwords people were talking about that they loved. Let's give them more of that. And they did, but in doing so, they kind of threw off the balance. So for me, Deadpool 2 didn't quite land the same that's the first film. Then rolls around Deadpool 3, essentially. Yeah, and that balance is tossed. We had the action sequences. We had carnage right from the get-go. We have carnage and then more carnage. And then carnage, 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 carnage. Surprise appearance, surprise appearance, surprise appearance. And then <laughs> thrown on top of that, we had the dialogue which, you know me, I love witty dialogue. Banter, banter, give me some. But again, I was, I was force-fed, gorged on the dialogue. And I know, don't say it. Wade Wilson, Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool, get that, I understand. But it was almost too much to the point where in context, I just came from working, traffic, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I wanna have a good time. And then I'm thrown so many words that by the time my brain has heard the sentence, comprehended what was saying amongst all the extraneous verbs and adverbs and adjectives, another four, five, six more sentences just like that landed back to back. So I'm exhausted. I could have done with a little less, a little less, dialogue and i can also say that goes for the meta-ness as well we get it deadpool is the meta king that's the joke but it was almost for me for me 
It was too much, especially when you have Hugh Jackman and this Logan. This is a broken Lo Logan. This is the down, way down, dirty down in the dumps Logan. And then we've got this Wade, which is... It is the Daffy Duck. Boing to boing to boing. Again, the balance wasn't quite right. Again, I know we're not necessarily going for the plot. I would have liked a little bit more meat on the bones. We got a lot of toppings. <laughs> the decorations are glorious and wondrous. But I would have liked just a smidge more, please, please. Yeah, yeah, I am fascinated to know and I will be fascinated to know as more people start talking about their experience, if they felt the same, if they felt different, if they didn't care, there could have been no plot whatsoever. We could have just had only Deadpool versus Wolverine. Fight, 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 fight until they can't fight no more. That's what you wanted, you will get this in spades. Seeing it in a theater with people is fun. I laughed, I cringed, and I screamed. There's at least three times when I outright just went, ah, just screamed. Because again, the shock and awe. What shock and awe? And to see that in a crowded theater with other people also having that shock and awe, it was great. That's why we go to the theater now, I think, not necessarily for what's visually put in front of us, but the communal experience. So if you want that, that's what you're looking for. You go see this film now, this weekend. You don't wait a week or two, you go see it now. I'm going to see it again, I don't know if in the theater, but I'm gonna have to see it a second time just to, I think I missed a lot of the plot that I might have been looking for because I my brain just wasn't moving fast enough. So I would love to hear what your experience was, if you had a good theater that was in on the jokes, if you had a dud theater, if you wanted more, if you got exactly what you wanted, please let me know. I'm fascinated to find out. And until next time, please take care of yourselves, stretch your bodies, stay hydrated. I am covered, I am covered in bruises from head to toe, getting myself set up because I can't wait to watch more things with you. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would love to see you then. And um, otherwise, take care, y'all. Until next time.